What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 laptops for programmers in 2020. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers, so whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. At number 1 position, we have Acer's Aspire E15, which is our top pick for the best value laptop for programmers. Basically, Aspire laptops are widely known as some of the best, most feature-packed models that offer versatility and decently strong specs considering its price. It's also a highly mobile laptop that is perfect for programmers who are frequently commuting from one place to another. Its dimensions measure 15.02 inches by 10.2 inches by 1.19 inches and it weighs only 5.27 pounds. Let's have a quick rundown of the most notable specs Acer's Aspire E15 comes outfitted with. First and most notably, we have the 8th Gen Intel's i3-8130U CPU, which is the most basic CPU you could get for the money, but it gets the job done. The i3 core features 2.2GHz of strength, although its cores could reach 3.2GHz each with the turbo feature, knowing that processor is one of the most important elements of a programming laptop you could do with better, but know that this particular model will suffice for standard, light duty tasks. The second most important feature Acer's Aspire E15 comes outfitted with is the 15 6 inch FHD LED lit monitor. It's not only large, but it also offers great viewing angles and features easy visual adjustments that you can set to minimize your eye strain and fatigue. This feature works hand in hand with a phenomenal battery that this laptop rocks. Basically, a single charge can sustain approximately 13.5 hours of lifetime, which is nearly twice as much in comparison to BAT's most similarly priced laptops are outfitted with. GPUs are generally important only for visual programming, and if that's your line of work, you might want to continue browsing. Acer's Aspire E15 features an integrated graphics card from Intel that is pretty solid for the price, but that's just about it. As far as memory is concerned, you'll have a full terabyte of onboard storage at your disposal, which should be enough for a start. Sadly, Acer's Aspire E15 features a hard disk drive, so you might need to wait a bit for the system to boot up every time you start it. In terms of RAM memory, Acer's Aspire E15 rocks 6 gigabytes of DDR3. Although most programming tasks require at least 8 for smooth operation, Operation, 6 gigabytes are quite okay. This laptop also features upgrade slots for future improvements in this field. Overall, Acer's Aspire E15 is better rounded than most standard laptops for programming, although it's not exactly excelling in any particular field of performance. Its versatility is the main reason why we've decided to open up our review with it. Our second pick is Asus Flip C302 as our top Chromebook laptop pick. Chromebooks are excellent for programmers due to the specific operating system they come supplied with, as well as with unique, well-rounded displays and specs they pack as well. The Flip C302 is essentially one of the cheaper ones, and we recommend it to programmers on a cash-strapped budget. The Flip C302 is a perfect choice for pretty much anyone, students, programmers, music producers, programmers, and people who simply like to watch movies and play some games to pass the time. It sports a wide array of eclectic features and it's perfect for both business and pleasure. Its dimensions measure 12 inches by 8.3 inches by 0.5 inches and it weighs barely 2.65 pounds. Note that it has a sleek, much thinner profile than usual laptops in this price range and it's also substantially lighter. Obviously, due to the fact that it's also smaller than average, it has a slightly tinier display. Asus Flip C302 offers a 12.5 inch FHD touchscreen that offers a huge array of viewing angles since it sports the 360 degree hinge feature. This is also what makes it so great for watching movies and working long hours at the office. Its connectivity is mediocre at best since it only supports USB-C and micro SD cards, but we should also mention that Asus Flip C302 is substantially cheaper than most laptops in this review. Although it has a weak onboard memory, only 64GB of free space, Asus offers a one-year free subscription to cloud storage, which you can use to externally hook up your files and projects until you upgrade to SSD or another HDD. Just like our previous pick, Asus Flip C302 features Intel's integrated HD graphics, which might not perform so great for visually demanding programming projects and tasks. Its CPU is Intel M Core, which is pretty old, but it's still newer than i5 versions. In this respect, the Flip C302 
is decently strong and suitable for heavy-duty programming applications. All things considered, Asus Flip C302 is a lightweight, portable 2-in-1 laptop that is as great for programming as it is for studio engineering, music production, gaming, and casual use. Given the fact that it's much cheaper than most models with similar specs, we dare say it's one of the finest Chromebooks available on the market. If you're a professional programmer who's not afraid to pay a bit more money for a premium quality laptop, we suggest that you check out HP's Spectre X360. Although this model is only slightly more expensive than our previous two picks, the features it comes supplied with are substantially stronger and its versatility is basically incomparable to them. First things first, HP's Spectre X360 is a highly mobile, compact laptop that features dimensions that measure 14.2 inches by 9.8 inches by 0.8 inches. Surprisingly enough, it weighs just just below a pound with 0.77 pounds of weight. It offers a sleek, elegant profile and highly transportable convenience straight off the bat. One of the most important features of HP's Spectre X360 is the Intel's i7 4.6 GHz processor. For comparison's sake, it's more than twice as powerful when put back to back with the Intel M Core or any other i3 i5. It's suitable for even the most spec demanding programming tasks. Now, it does have an integrated graphics card, but it also sports NVIDIA's GeForce MX150 graphics coprocessor. In that regard, HP's Spectre X360 is worlds apart from budget and entry level programming laptops in terms of graphic performance. Furthermore, it also sports 16GB of DDR4 RAM, which complements the other specs phenomenally well. Of course, there are sockets on board for future upgrades should you need them. Connectivity-wise, HP's Spectre X360 offers one Thunderbolt 3 port, one USB 3.1 Type-C port, one HDMI port, and one combo port for headphones and microphones. This is actually the only field of performance where it doesn't excel, but it still does a pretty great job. Lastly, let's talk a bit about the display of HP's Spectre X360. It rocks a 4K IPS 15.6 inch micro edge WLED backlit display that has superb written all over it. It offers unparalleled viewing angles and completely eliminates eye strain and eye fatigue. In all honesty, this might be the best laptop for programming for people who can't afford boutique models. Programmers usually need to be able to morph and adapt to different scenarios, and what better way to achieve that than having an absurdly powerful machine that can run the latest software and plugins without flinching. We present to you Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Extreme as one of the most powerful, most feature-packed programming laptops on the entire market. Starting from the bottom up, the dimensions of this laptop measure 14.2 inches by 9.7 inches by 0.7 inches. Even though it has a slim profile display, it weighs surprisingly much more with approximately 3 0.76 pounds of weight. The spotlight feature that Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Extreme comes supplied with is the quad-core Intel i5-9300H processor. Each core sports 2.4 GHz while being able to achieve 4.1 GHz of strength with the turbo feature. Plain math tells us this should be more than enough power for any kind of programming tasks. Furthermore, it offers 16 GB of DDR4 RAM, just like our previous pick, as well as 512 GB of SSD storage. Rapid launching time and an abundant storage memory are just some of the benefits this laptop has in store for you. Graphics-wise, Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Extreme is outfitted with NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1650, which boasts 4GB of dedicated graphics memory. Again, this is one of the strongest GPUs out of the three we've covered so far. The only thing that you may not particularly like about this laptop is obviously its price. Namely, it costs nearly three times as much in comparison to the Chromebook Flip C302, and it's strikingly pricier than Asus Aspire E15. Be it as it may, it's just as valuable for the money, if not more. Let's pull the curtains down with the most versatile and most powerful laptop on today's list. Dell's XPS 15 seamlessly combines sheer, unfiltered strength with compact elegance, so if that's something you're after, look no further. The dimensions of this laptop measure 14.06 inches by 9.27 inches by 0.66 inches and it weighs 5.51 pounds. Although it's obviously heavier than most programming laptops in our review, it's still fairly light and very transportable. Dell's XPS 15 packs a 15.6 inch 4K Ultra HD OLED display laden with Infinity Edge technology and anti-reflective coating, both of which aim to completely negate the nasty side effects of glare and eye fatigue. This laptop is supplied with premium quality Intel i7-9750H, which is a 4.5 GHz 6 core CPU that can perform any kind of task regardless of how complex and hard it may be. Furthermore, it offers 16 GB of upgradable DDR4 RAM 
split in two slots of 8 gigabytes. As far as GPU, Dell's XPS 15 rocks Nvidia's GTX 1650 with 4 gigabytes of dedicated GDDR5 graphic memory. Again, this is an incredibly strong feature, but it might be a bit of overkill for programming, unless you're dabbling in the realms of digital visuals. Connectivity-wise, Dell's XPS 15 features a Thunderbolt 3 port, a USB 3.0 port, and an SD card reader, which is pretty great. However, we think that there's a bit of room for improvement here as there is neither headphone nor HDMI port on board. This, however, only slightly reduces its versatility, but it does not in any way affect its programming-based performance. Last but not least, Dell's XPS 15 also comes with pre-installed Windows 10 64-bit operating system. As far as utility features go, it also sports a fingerprint reader. All things considered, Dell's XPS 15 is obviously pricey, but it's without any shadow of a doubt one of the best rounded, spec-pumped laptops that a programmer could ever wish for, so if you're on the market for quality, we strongly recommend checking it out. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.